Today I'm visiting Afri orchids, one of the world's premier orchid nurseries, and it has the biggest collection of African species in the world. Now there are a lot of beautiful orchids here, the bright big flowers, which you can stare at for hours. But then there are also orchids here with very much more subdued, more insignificant flowers. But when you look closer to it, the mechanics of them are extraordinary. And this is one of them. This is Bobophyllum barbigerum, and it grows from Central to Western Africa. It's in full flower, and if we look at the flowers, it's nothing extraordinary from a distance, but close up, it's so intricate. On the end of the lip, there's little feather-like structures, and that catches the wind with the slightest of breezes. The lip is connected to the center of the flower, where there's a hinge, and the slightest breeze make it move like a seesaw. It's perfectly balanced. Why is that? That is to get pollinated. It has a slight stench to it and attracts small little flies. The flies fly to the flower, investigating the stench because they need to lay eggs somewhere. And once they do that and land on the lip and a little breeze come by, then this little hinge seesaw pushes the fly right up into the flower and connects it to the pollen sac and that pollen sac is sticky that's the male part it sticks to the fly and the fly eventually leaves the flower visiting another flower where the same little trick happens and it gets deposited on the female part and so this little bulbophyllum film gets pollinated from most flowers seemingly being stagnant this one uses mechanics to almost come alive and so get pollinated by the most interesting of mechanics.